Hey everybody, welcome back to another Judgment Commentary, but today I'm going to be checking out Great Pretender, an anime series that aired in the summer of 2020 on Netflix, interestingly enough. Now, this video in particular was commissioned by our good old friend Bal Fauton, known previously on the channel for commissioning the Golden Kamui videos, as well as the Keep Your Hands Off Isaacen ones. I that blanked on the name for a second there, so they've had a pretty solid history of commissioning good series that I had never heard of beforehand, so I've got some high hopes for this one. Yeah, like I just said, I had not heard much about Great Pretender before. I think I saw it pop up a couple of times on the, the polls, maybe, but it never really made a dent in them compared to other things, but from what I can tell, it is still a decently successful series at least uh, from what my limited research would indicate. But aside from that, I also know very little about what it's about. I mean, I think it's some kind of mystery crime comedy type thing. So I guess I'm just gonna have to watch it and find out. So thank you once again to Balfautan. Your recommendations never fail to entertain. So I'm sure this will be right alongside the others. So, with very little to say at this point, I'm not going to waste anybody's time anymore and just head right in for the first episode of the first case, Los Angeles Connection. Let's a go. Wow, this is really freaking good. I straight up just almost turned on episode 5 and kept reacting, even though I shouldn't do that. <laughs> it's just, it would, uh, I mean, I, I could do it, but no. Yeah, Great Pretender is good, to say the bare minimum. It's done a great job of establishing character, you know, especially for Makoto. He's got a lot of uh, nuance, and that's the key word here that I'm noticing. Nuance. There's a lot of nuance towards a lot of the towards a lot of this, but with Makoto, he's got an enriched past, a complicated one, that only just now got way more complicated with what we were shown. Because, man, yeah, he looked up to his dad so much because he was a, you know, a lawyer. Someone who apparently always talked about, you know, morality and justice as the best thing to do. It was of the utmost importance, and yet at the same time, the guy gets arrested for leading a child trafficking ring. He was accused of using his position as a lawyer for those horribly negative purposes now was he guilty of it or did he just get rolled up into it through association i can't say for sure i i mean i would I, it was it's such a horrible thing and i wanted to believe in him so much that i just I pardon me wants to believe that it was a big mistake but he might have just been all talk he might have been a hypocrite going off about how being more is the right thing to do, and then in the background, being a sh human being. And all of that just created such a bad circumstance for Makoto, you know? He, 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 he tried. He tried so hard to go straight. He went to multiple jobs, but, but before that, the problem was he ended up getting mixed up with a fraudulent company. He should have known that it was fraudulent? I don't know why he kept working for them. Because early on, he wanted to, to to work straight. Yet he was working with a company that was clearly using false advertising. Why did he keep working with them? If he wanted to be moral like that. It was him getting mixed up in that that was the bigger problem. I'm, I'm assuming that... He probably still had difficulty getting a job before that because, you know, he was still recognized as being the son of that guy who did the horrible thing. So he probably, you know, he definitely did have difficulty getting jobs, but it only made it worse after he had to stay with them because now he had shown precedent that he himself 
was potentially criminal, you know, because he had been guilty of fraud, or at least was associated with the company guilty of fraud. I mean, they might have been willing to give him a second shot if he had not been associated with the, with his dad, if his dad hadn't been so horrible. I'm sure there would have been some places that would give him a second shot, you know, because he's young, people make mistakes. There would be a lot of places who would be willing to give him an, another chance, but not in those extenuating circumstances. And besides just Makoto, it's definitely going for, you know, that classic nuanced gray approach to crime itself, you know, with uh, Salazar, in that he's validating, you know, the fact that he started the gang and is now working as a bodyguard for a gang, in that he's just trying to make money for his kid, in that he was born into poverty and didn't have the brains to, you know, go to college himself, so he had no choice but to go into a life of crime, and now he's still getting mixed up in that just so he can make enough money to send his own kid to college, but... You know, Makoto said it's a great excuse in that, realistically, there's always another path. Even when born into a bad circumstance like that, there are other things you can do. Just buckle down, work multiple jobs, you can do that. And especially with someone with his skill sets. He's he's a big, strong guy. He's working as a freaking bodyguard right now for a major mafia. There are other things he could be doing. But, you know, he started that crime early on. It's really hard to break out of that on your own. But of course, they're presenting it the way that it is, and that it's nuanced. It's gray. It's not merely black and white in that some would say, like, oh, he's just an objectively bad person because he's getting into crime and all that, but... It's not so simple. He definitely seems at heart to, to to be a good enough person. He cares for his son. He wants what's best for him. He, at least in his own mind, believes that if he had been given better circumstances in life, he wouldn't have turned to crime. It's not something that he wants to do. He just feels like it was the only way. But like I said, it's a complicated matter and worth discussing in a more educated setting, so I'm gonna put that aside for now <laughs> and uh, think about other things. Great Pretender, man. I, I've said it before, I'll say it again, that it is just, it's just been entertaining. I've been at the edge of my seat this whole time, just paying attention and really, really being enthralled in this. This is one of the most uh, enthralled that I've been in something I've reacted to in quite a bit. It's freaking awesome. <laughs> Never a dull moment, honestly. And you know what else I loved? Just how um, roundabout the whole scam was throughout all of this, you know, when just with even in the beginning with Makoto just getting totally played from the very start. At first I thought that he was playing good mind games, but <laughs> nope. I, I thought he played that old lady pretty, pretty good and it made me sad, but wow, he got wrecked. <laughs> he got... He got so set up, I couldn't even see it coming. And then all that other stuff involving the LAPD, who were also in on this as well, with Anderson and whatnot. It's uh, it's also highlighting, uh, you know, a deeper problem of corruption, in that he was, uh, you know, even in the pockets of the of the LAPD themselves. It's uh, troublesome. You know, a lot of this just seems to be about corruption. You know, otherwise, some people who could have been good but are just getting mixed up in the wrong things when it comes to Salazar and even just, uh, you know, the, the man himself here. I, I, his name starts with a C. I never said it out loud. But he could have just been a dedicated and passionate film producer. His films seemed to be successful enough, even if people wrote them off as just B-movie trash. They still seemed to perform well. He could have just dedicated all of his life to that. Maybe if he dedicated more time into it instead of being a mob boss on the side, he could have actually made them grade A good films, but he went down a life of crime and got corrupted in that way. And then with with Anderson, he was just, you know, a member of the of the police force, but you know, they went in and offered him money and all that and he and he took it. I can definitely feel some themes of corruption and that otherwise people who could have been good made bad choices and went down a dark path. Not a lot in the way of pure evil going on here. 
Although, if what they said about Makoto's dad is true, I would say that that guy was pretty much pure evil, and that despite his his talk of morality and being a lawyer and all that, it completely is counteracted by his darker actions. I mean, you can say what you want about, you know, being a Mafia Don drug dealer, but what he did, if he did it, yeah, that's about as low as you can go. Anyway, I've rambled on long enough, so thank you guys for watching. Make sure to leave a like and a comment if you enjoyed, and subscribe to stay updated on more. Let me know if you're excited for more Great Pretender. Pretty sure Balfauton will continue to commission for more of this, and I would love if they did, because <laughs> honestly, if they don't, I'm going to watch it on my own anyway, just because it's great. But I would definitely like to you know, watch it in reaction form because that was a very fun experience for me and I hope you guys enjoyed watching it as much as I enjoyed making it. You know what sucks? I definitely want to watch episode 5 right now just because these arcs are in are five parts. Ugh. I'm gonna have to be left on that cliffhanger. And I'm too sleepy. I'll pass out if I try to watch the fifth one right now. So I've already said it before, but thanks again, Balfauton. <laughs> you continue to prove that your taste in anime is top tier. I mean, I could go on even longer trying to analyze a lot of the different uh, themes and elements of these episodes because they were extremely well detailed. And I didn't even get into the artistic side of this. I mean, it's really beautifully animated and drawn and just the, the more colorful aesthetic strangely blends in and fits perfectly in this. But hey, like I said, I could keep going, but I can't. It probably wouldn't be a good idea to keep rambling on forever, so... For now, that's it. Hope to catch you guys next time. Till then, I will see you guys all later.